Hey, hey, welcome back. I'm Leah Arnold, Director of Career Technical and Adult Education, or CTE as we know it. To open the Eastern Suffolk BOCES school year on a high note, I would love to visit each and every one of you, but I can't vi visit every building in person. Fortunately, technology allows me to be everywhere at once, so I'm using it. How are you feeling as we enter the new school year? I'm feeling optimistic and excited because we're gonna have an amazing year. I feel lucky too. Lucky because we have the pleasure of doing the best jobs in education. We help young people find their purpose and their passion. People wanna be here. They choose us. I hope you feel as honored and privileged as I do to be part of this team and to have people choose to be here. I'm gonna take the Julie approach uh, and try to harness my message today into three buckets, listening to our stakeholders, nurturing growth, and celebrating success. Starting with listening. Last year was a challenge because the rules changed. We started with COVID precautions and enforcement and ended back to normal. This caused confusion and it challenged all of us, quite frankly. We lost connections um, during the last few years even though we were probably more connected than ever. It's time we get back our engagement. We're listening to our stakeholders to hear what they need. And we heard from parents, they wanna be engaged. We do amazing work turning hormonal teenagers into rising professionals. But sometimes we overlook that they're minors and we have a responsibility to their caregivers. This year, I'm asking every one of you to make it a priority to speak with families more often. If you speak with them quarterly, speak with them monthly. Caregivers should know what, what's happening, how their child is doing, and get to know you, you know, the teacher, the staff. We also want to build back our business and industry partnerships. If you've not yet seen the recent departmental video we've entitled Help Wanted, please do. We recorded a version of the presentation we created for st strategic planning and it's a very helpful look at the many ways we engage with business and industry and how critical it is to our success. This year, when we heard from regional business and industry, uh, we heard they need our help. This is an opportune time for every one of us to engage businesses in new ways to support students and our programs. In listening to our stakeholders, I believe we need to take action. New workforce demands, wait lists, and the need for additional training uh, space are top on the needs list. You may hear me talk about a new tech center for the East End. We are actively seeking a location and funding to build a new technical center. But first, we need to find the Brentwood Adult Education Center a new home. Both nursing and adult literacy need to find a place to land before our lease is up June 2023 and we're actively looking for space on the west side of our catchment area. Think CI or Brentwood, preferably on a transportation line. Networking pays off, and I'm hoping engaging you in this conversation does too. We need to engage students in a different way too. Student voice and leadership are vital components of the work um, and lend itself to our DEI work. Listen closely for opportunities to hear students thinking uh, or create opportunities for them to be involved in decision-making. They'll surprise you. Speaking of great thinking, thank you for your ideas submitted in cluster work this past June. Your suggestions are fantastic and are already helping us find ways to streamline and improve. I can't change municipal purchasing laws, but we can uh, work on several of the recommendations in the coming months. You also gave great ideas how to celebrate our upcoming anniversary. Thank you. I am so proud of the work that we do. Under the heading Nurturing Growth, I wanna bring attention to the amazing number and quality of certifications coming out of your classrooms. What value you've added to our programs. Each one represents opportunity for our students and that list continues to grow. Recently, each building put together a list of the certifications students earned and they collected student performance data on industry assessments and technical endorsement achievements. We'll share this information with your clusters um, so that you can look at opportunities that may be available across your clusters. We've been nurturing social, emotional, and educational supports too. 
in addition to our academic team, we've added social workers, an English as a new language teacher or ENL teacher to that list, uh, and more school counselors. We are listening and want to provide what our students need to be successful. Uh, and when, if you have ideas, please speak to your building leaders. We're all ears for solutions. The last thing I wanted to speak about with you is celebrating success. I know it's a little early to be uh, celebrating already, but we have so many great things happening and we've done, we continue to do such great work. This year, we have, uh, we'll have even more to celebrate, but don't forget to tell us. Send me an email about a visitor or a special guest, an award or spotlight on an event or a student. Send, um, tell PR. The more we can showcase the amazing things that happen in your classroom, the better it is for our programs and CTE as a whole. We are also celebrating a successful new teacher induction program to help our newest teachers acclimate to their newest profession. Now induction articulates with Buffalo State College, so teachers can purchase the credit towards certification uh, while they're in our induction program. Thank you to each and every voice who's helped shape our induction program. Lead teachers, mentors, academic teachers, administrators, past graduates, you are the architects of this program. Your voice has shaped it. Kudos and thank you. Lastly, we need to celebrate our enrollment. We're growing. New this year, we have a new HVAC program uh, taught by our own Jeff Farley. Um, Jeff was recruited from our O&M department. Kenya Benjamin is taking on our new cosmetology program at Brentwood High School. She'll teach level one and uh, AM and PM at Sonderling High School. Kenya is a leave replacement for Luke Mahoney, who transferred from another in-district program at the Islip Academic Center, or IAC. We have many new staff in all of our new in our, all of our buildings, so please say hi, please say hello, and introduce yourself. Samantha Tacoma is the new cosmetology slash barbering teacher at IAC. Yvonne Bray will be teaching the new halftime cos two program at MTC. We have a new, we have new BTC staff in fashion, dental, guidance, and a new auto teacher at ICC. Uh, at CM uh, at HB Ward, we have a CMA instructor. Uh, as well as the work experience coordinators new to every building. Almost every building hired new paraeducators, so please make them feel welcome too. I think that's all for me today. I'm making a commitment to visit every classroom this year. Hold me accountable. If you don't see me by, by January, call me out on it. Our new cabinet members are also hoping to visit during events and special classroom activities. James Stucchio replaced Ryan Ruff as Associate Superintendent for Management Services. Ryan became our new COO. And you know Claudia Damis Makalele and Chris Cook. They are new, they are now our new veteran cabinet members. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great first day back and a fantastic launch to the 22-23 school year. Thank you.